Hello everybody, I wanted to make this quick video about a topic um, that I'm very familiar with, that I'm well versed in. I wanted to talk about the sanctity of marriage. The sanctity of marriage. How many times have you heard that? Usually you'll hear it when talking about same-sex marriage, right? You'll be arguing with somebody who doesn't believe in same-sex marriage, like it doesn't exist or something. And they'll bring up, you know, we're just protecting the sanctity of marriage. But my question is, how many of them actually know what that means? How many have actually, like, asked themselves what they mean by that? I mean, because they could throw it around conveniently when they're arguing with the opposition, you know, they could easily reference it as some vague abstract concept called the sanctity of marriage, which is somehow supposed to you know, be some fucking overwhelming evidence for why their case is right. But how many of them actually thought about what the sanctity of marriage means when they say it? Some people might say that, you know, sanctity of marriage means a marriage between a man and a woman till death do you part, da 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 da, -da no divorce, everything that the Bible reads, right? But those same people who will believe passionately in the sanctity of marriage as dictated by the Bible will single out gay marriage. That's one single part of man and woman. Why? Don't you think the other parts will be equally as important? I mean, if you're a Christian, don't you believe that, you know, one sin is not greater than the other sin? If you do believe that, then you sure are spending a disproportionate amount of time on one of the sins and one of the issues or one of the aspects of what makes a marriage sanctuous. Something recently um, re-sparked this train of thought, I guess. And it has something to do with a hypothetical thought and these happen to me all the time. So, you know, this thought in particular had something to do with the thought that I wonder to myself, is it possible for two people to get married without ever having met each other? Because I was thinking about, you know, online relationships and, you know, you always have the people who argue for online relationships. It got me thinking, like, is it possible to marry someone without actually ever meeting them? I mean, I'm not talking about online relationships. I'm talking about I'm not talking about the online relationship where it's like, uh, LOL, you're so funny, cute, and then you meet up in person. I'm talking about the idea that you you will never meet this person. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I heard about um, these WoW people, WoW characters, actually getting married online. But um, you're going to have to either correct me or back me up on this one, but... I was thinking, I don't think there's anything against getting married to someone. I mean, do you do two people, a man and a woman, have to be present in order to get married? I mean, of course, it's conventional. And you think, no shit, no duh. Like, of course you're going to be together because you love each other, whatever. But I think it might be possible for two people to never meet each other but get married. I mean, can you... Let's think about this. If you get married, is there anything saying that you have to live with each other? No. I mean, you... I could picture a scenario where somebody gets married and, you know, they live separately. I mean, it's not common, it's not usual, but it's not against the law, right? So, that's kind of unorthodox. And you know what? When I think of marriage... And that's really, really what it comes down to when you think about it. Well, that doesn't go along with what I think marriage is. What I think marriage should be. That's what they mean when they say the sanctity of marriage. It has nothing to do with any kind of sanctity whatsoever. Because when you think about it, when you really analyze that shit, you realize there is no sanctity in marriage. At least in the United States. As it currently stands. You want to know what your sanctity of marriage is? Do you want to know it? It's this picture right here. Yes, you can get a divorce by calling the number on this van. And it's a quick divorce. Look at that. 
There is your fucking sanctity of marriage. Yeah, so if you're talking about sanctity of marriage like it actually means something, you're fucking dead wrong because there is no sanctity of marriage. To me, it makes sense that you should know somebody before you marry them. But is that a prerequisite? No. You know, many people run off and get married to strangers all the time. I mean, if I really wanted to right now, I could go get married the next day, or even the fucking same day, get a divorce, get married to the same person or somebody else I've never met before, and get a divorce again, and I could repeat the same process till I'm blue in the face. And you know what? How many people get married for all kinds of different reasons? that are not about love, or not about, you know, fucking holy matrimony, till death do us part. How many people get married for money? How many people get married because they have to? Maybe because of illegal immigration? How many people get married to piss their parents off? There's no way you can regulate all these, which is why, you know, fucking big bully... You know, Latter-day Saints and all these Christian churches and everything. That's why they're being bullies and picking on same sex. Because it's so easy to regulate. It's so easy to single out the gays and tell them they can't do everything that they're capable, that straight people can do. It's like you're not only telling them that they can't get married if they are same sex. You're telling them that you can't do what, you can't abuse marriage like we can because we can single you out. I mean, I don't even have to bring up that fucking divorce raids. Your fucking sanctity of marriage. What you really mean by that is that is not what I think of when I think of marriage. And if we were to go by that, then honestly, I would try to enforce something where you know the person at least two months before you get married. But then you would ask, how would you enforce that, you know? Well, maybe you could have before you get the brilliant idea to go get married you go in and then you make like some kind of legal announcement that you say so and so blah, 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 we are going to get married two months from now so that way you know you have at least met two months before the actual marriage day and you know what if you're thinking that's too ridiculous and that's too arbitrary well just think about how arbitrary your fucking idea is that a man and a woman should be married because that's just what you think the fucking perfect world should be. Just because you think the world should be a certain way doesn't mean that you should regulate that. And how do you not understand that? I mean, really? Really? How do you not understand that? It's like, if I think parents, you know, shouldn't have kids until they get ready that uh, it's like saying that I think there should be parent licenses. And honestly, I believe there should be. But I, the reason why I don't genuinely believe that it should be carried out through government is that, you know, that probably would be more trouble than it's actually worth. But there are really bad parents out there. And how, how much of a threat to the sanctity of a human life is it when you have a parent who is not fit to take care of a child. When you have parents who get together and are, you know, for whatever reason they fucking brainwash your children to become indoctrinated little perfect Christian or Mormon people so they can grow up and tell people what the fuck they can and can't do with their lives, right? There's nothing greater of a threat to the sanctity of humanity than allowing something like that to happen. So if if things were the way I wanted them to be, you would have laws put in place to make sure that you're not some kind of... Before you go out and have kids, you know, let's just say fucking crazy-ass religious psycho nuts aren't allowed to have kids. End of story. If you think gays can't marry... I think you shouldn't be allowed to have kids. It doesn't feel good, does it? Being told that you can't do something just because of something that you are, whether or not you fucking choose it. You know, because I, 
I used to believe that religion was a choice, but I honestly cannot bring myself to believe that if you knew how crazy you sounded and how fucking nuts your religion was, that you could possibly sanely choose your religion. But that's another topic. Anyway, 